Hello and welcome to the Back to the Board uh, segment. We'll be looking at the analysis of uh, Dialogue Rugby League week by week. Firstly, we'll look at the Havelocks versus Police game. Of course, uh, Police team had two luxury of uh, kickers. One is, of course, uh, Riza Mubarak, Sri Lankan uh, number one kicker, and of course, Sharif Mohammed, who is a former Tuskers. Uh, now, during a ruck, especially in the uh, own half, Police, they had the kickable, like I said, Riza and Sharif. What they did was put Rehan Tiagaraja at the opposite fullback. These two, whenever they get the ball, they put him under pressure. Not kicking territorially into the space, but kicking straight into Rehan Tiagaraja or the up and unders where Rehan has to chase them off. But Rehan felt the pressure and he fumbled with the ball a few times and uh, as a result, the police coming into the Havelock's own half and making the most out of it. But unfortunately, Havelock's hitting back hard in the second half uh, to win this match. But uh, uh, credits for the uh, first uh, 10 minutes of the way they played uh, because uh, Havelock's uh, was under pressure. They could not come into the police half early on in the game. Rehan Tyagaraja unfortunately uh, injured his uh, elbow, so he is probably out for another two, three weeks, maybe even more. But certainly he is a player to watch in the wing, uh, not in the fullback position. Uh, but they are missing Mithun Hapugoda really uh, because he was outstanding last season. Now he is out for another seven months, so Mithun Hapugoda is no more. But the fullback position probably Kevin Dixon has to fit in, and he is also out for the national under 20s. So Havelock has some issues in placing a fullback. Uh, we'll wait and see how uh, Coach Laga will, who he will bring in the next week uh, for that position. Of course, Sheriff, who's the one played in the pink jersey last year, but this time around he has moved to, he has moved to the police team. So that is one thing that uh, where they had uh, a strength in kicking despite their forwards play, but uh, Havelock's coming, like I said, in the second half uh, to win this match. Next up, we'll be looking at the try of the week. Dushman the Priyadarshan, what a work rate he has been for this try, although it was Muthu Tantri who made it at last. Now, this is how they got a uh, rock situation here. Danushka Ranjan going into the contact, receiving a kick from uh, Mohamed Sharif, and he went into the contact. Sudarshan and Muthu Tantri coming all the way from here and playing as a nine on that occasion. And Dushman the Priyadarshan, he was somewhere here, and he all the way came into as the first receiver to collect the ball from uh, Sudarshan and Muthu Tantri. Now, from receiving and Dushman the Predarshan, he made like 40 to 45 meters sprint, beating few defenders and a dummy pass and a sidestep. He really foxed opposite the fullback uh, of Police Sports Club. And there he goes up to almost 22 meter mark. And look at the support play. This is about the experience and class of Sudarshan Mutatantri. He came all the way here and took his offload. And there he goes to the try. This is how it works. Team play, understanding between Muthu and Dushwanta Pradarshana. After his pass, he was keep chasing, following, and waiting for the offload. Brilliant run by uh, Dushwanta Pradarshana. And there he goes uh, to score the try. This is the try of the week. And also, you can watch that highlight on the papari.com, also on our Facebook page. Log on to and uh, like and comment on the try and the work rate, especially Dushwanta Pradarshana put on against the Police Sports Club. So the other match we are looking at is uh, CRNFC versus uh, Army Sports Club at the Longdon Place. It was a shocking uh, start for the uh, soldiers because they led the halftime 10 points to 6. The reason behind is uh, CR every time when they get the ball inside their own half, especially between the halfway mark and the 10 meter mark, they never bothered to kick territorial and play in the opposite half. It was clearly witnessed. What they did uh, instead, trying to uh, put the army uh, forwards into a uh, narrowly and into uh, put uh, more uh, work rate in the rucks and tackles and working hard to get the CR ball out, uh, out wide. So uh, CR in fact going close hits and every time they went uh, bit before the uh, first 15, 20 minutes, they lost the ball and as a result giving a penalty away for army. As a result, army kicked the, those penalties into post and also they scored one into touch and as a driving mall, uh, they scored one try. That's how it went wrong in the first half of CRNFC because they didn't bother or they didn't want to play territorial coming into opposite half and then from here onwards attack uh, for the army goal line. But it's a tactical ploy, but it didn't go well in the first half. Whereas in the second half, CR dominated it. They just went few faces into the uh, hits and then they work out because Ashan De Costa from center playing as a center and coming into fly half, he was uh, feeding the ball into Rochana Hetiarachi and there goes the winger, scored uh, two tries. So that made the clear difference. So two tactical play by CR, first half playing closely and second half going out wide. 
That's all we have in the analysis back to the board segment. I'm Sabir Kadar signing off for the Power.com, sharing the passion. <laughs>